Hello and welcome to the Craftsman Show. My name is your host, the Craftsman. Today we're finna talk about animations, stop motions, how that you can make things look like it's moving but ain't. It's all a illusion is what it is. It's not magic, it's just some, you know, uh, technique. In a previous video, I show y'all a little bit about how that you can transfer different facial expressions and things onto Lego figurine, minifigs. Some of y'all have asked about, you know, said, Craftman, I would love to see your animations process. So that's what I'm going to show y'all today. I know it do not look the best when I just point my camera at my computer screen. I tried to do some uh, video capture and it did look so jerky laggy fast. So I said, I'm gonna point the camera at it, see? So the first thing I do is I record my voice. You know, my little character. I record what they say. Ah, oh, snap, that's cool. Ah, oh, snap, that's cool. So what I do is uh, Dragon Frame gives you all these little, uh, the default mouth shapes that you can use. And so you just kind of go through here. At this part, he needs to have uh, his mouth open. See? Like that right there. Once you get all that done. Oh, snap, that's cool. Just like that right there. And this thing right here is called an X sheet, AKA exposure sheet. Uh, in the old school animation day, they used to call this a, a dope sheet. So I know at frame four, I need to start saying, ah. Then at frame 14, I better start saying, snap. Then at frame 27, I need to start saying, this. And then frame 34, I need to start saying, cool. And then you end up, you end up with something that looks like this. Oh, snap, that's cool. Oh, snap, that's cool. So what I got going on is I got a little secondary little screen right here. That's my little Dragon Frames uh, keypad. That allows me to uh, record my keyframe, play my uh, whatever I'm looking at. Real convenient for me to be able to do that. And uh, my camera I'm using is an old Canon T2i and an old 50 millimeter lens, vintage lens, manual focus, manual uh, aperture, all that. And uh, normally I got a power supply plugged into this, but uh, since I'm just doing little quick things, I'm just using a battery. That's kind of dangerous though, living on the edge like that. So, anyway, that's my setup. Uh, that's my figure ring and thing like that. This right here is what my screen looks like whenever I'm animating, that I can see exactly what it is, what I got, uh, how the camera set up. This showed me exactly what my camera looking at. I can make sure my little character's in focus and everything. Also, there's a really wonderful feature to this called onion skinning. Whenever I got onion skin turned on, I can do this right here. See, if I move my uh, figure, see that? It showed me. Just like that, see? That allowed me to line up uh, my little figure my little character, my actor. Film is projected at 24 frames per second. That means that you have to capture 24 pictures just to make up one second of animation. If you want to, you can cut your work in half and just shoot at 12 frames per second. That's AKA shoot on twos or what that's called. With animation, you see a picture, sequential, a uh, sequence, one picture after the next play fast, look like things moving. Oh, that's crazy what that was. decide that you want to animate you some uh, cloth material you don't really have incremental control over that all right so what can we do 
I take me some foil. And you can use regular aluminum foil if you got it. You stick this together like that right there. Like that little thing right there, dear. You know. It goes, eh. let's say this vehicle, this cart going, it'll come to a slowdown. See that right there? Get a frame, move it, get a frame, move it less, get a frame, move it less, 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 until it stops. And sometimes you might even want to add your little boom, boom, almost like a recall, a little boom, you know. I ain't like that. I would encourage you to go uh, research about, you know, ease in, ease out. Uh, secondary actions, overlapping actions, all the little things like that. Animations principle like that right there. But when it comes to making your character walk around, you can get as complex or as simple as you want to. If you wanted to, you could have you some little smooth things and have, have a little extra frames up in between there to show some style, some smoothness to it. But really, sometimes I find the win winners one is the ones that's easy to do. Here go one right here. This is just a full frame uh, wall cycle. I call it. Cause look, you got a up, the leg up, step, other leg up, step, one, two, three, four, and just loop it like that right there. And if you really want to get simple, you could do this right here called the uh, this called the uh, slide walk. I ain't I ain't really walking, but you know I don't know. If you want to do that, that's kind of crazy. Now look at this little man right here. He ain't got no bendy legs, see that? He is, uh, you know, vertical challenge and them legs don't really bend, see that? So what I thought I could do is just take me some of the blue tack right there. Blue tack, normally you take something, you know, and you go ahead and just roll it around and you could probably take the tackiness off of it, you know, if it was a chunk of clay. Or maybe you had some chewing gum or something like that. Don't do that. But look at that. This stuff right here just keeps on uh, sticking. This right here is invaluable if you're doing stop motion animation. And stick it on it, you know, into where you can't see from the front. And then just come right here. Take a frame. Take a frame. Take a frame. Do, do, do. Just like that. You could use armatures, fancy ball and socket joints that you could put inside a silicone or a latex uh, puppy stop motion character. You could just use some aluminum wire like this, different gauges. If you really want to see some fancy uh, animations and uh, armature, uh, this man right here makes his own ones. I get asked a lot of times, how can I learn to make those armatures? Uh, Edu Puertos right there. E-D-U uh, Puertos. Edu, Pu Edu Puertos does a phenomenal job on it. And uh, it's just very entertaining. He uh, lives overseas. And if you want to see some exceptional uh, Lego stop motions, look at uh, Pong Owl. P-O-N-G-O-W-L. Check out his channel. Uh, the life of videos uh, That's the kind of work I would like to be able to to uh, get to one day. Maybe if I keep on practicing check it out I hope y'all enjoyed that and maybe this will inspire you to do some little uh 
animations things and have fun show your family maybe if you uh would like to uh propose to your wife uh your husband you can animate a thing about doing that to ask them and see what they say i love y'all and keep steady crafting all right